All right, this is going to be a video on how to use a really awesome tool called 8notes.com. Now I want you to know this is um, something I want you to consider as extra to your classwork. That means I want you to make sure that you finish your assigned activities in Seesaw and your ribbon test, things like that, before you come over to 8notes.com. This is something I'm using as an extra resource for those of you who are looking for more music. I think that's a lot of you. So this is a great place to go and browse and look for some new things, things to explore. You can listen to music here and it has music for a whole bunch of different instruments. So let's hop to it. It's also free to do a lot of things on here. Um, so here we are. This is the home page just when you type in 8notes.com and it takes you to this page right here. You can search for music a whole bunch of different ways and I'm going to show you some of the main ways that I usually go looking for, for music here. I want you to notice this. Up at the top, you can go hunting for specific instruments. This list right here is not all of them. You can hunt by style classical, jazz, traditional, rock and pop, Christmas music, world music, that means like other than America, um, other different styles. You can search by artist and that would be who wrote the song. There's other resources too, like a tuner for some instruments, a metronome, piano chord chart, other things like that. Okay, so I just, whoops, I don't wanna go there. I wanna come back here, okay. Um, so a lot of things you can do. You'll notice down here, free sheet music and lessons. We're going to be checking out the free sheet music today. There is music for piano, guitar, all of our string orchestra instruments. We've got violin here, viola, cello, double bass is often a little bit lower on the list down here. Um, it's just not as common. And I think they're going by um, highness and lowness of instrument too. Uh, you'll notice there's also in music here for recorder, and if you are a fifth grader playing a band instrument, you can look for new music here for your band instrument as well. All right, I'm going to use violin and bass to show a few different things. I tap on the instrument I'm looking for, and again, there's all these different um, categories that I can tap on, different styles. For you guys, I think the best way to go hunting for some new music will be go going by level, and that's what these colors are. Green is going to be the easiest level. That's beginners. If you're a fourth grader, you'll probably be able to play a lot of these songs. I'd encourage fourth graders to stay mainly in this green uh, level until you have run out of songs that you are loving, and then you'll probably be ready to jump over to the yellow level. If you're a fifth grader, you could start in that green level and see if there's songs that you like that you are looking for. Um, fifth graders will have more musical knowledge and be able to handle more of these yellow level songs, the easy violin. Now the intermediate violin, this is oftentimes like middle school type level. So until you have um, really gotten a good handle of these end of the year fifth grade ideas, I'd say maybe wait or unless you've got some somebody else to help you out and give you um, some pointers and some extra help, intermediate level music is going to be uh, probably wait on it for a little while. All right, advanced violin. This tends to be almost like high school level. So again, I'd say wait on it until you know, like if you looked at a song here, and you go, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do. It's all right. Keep with one of these first levels. Beginner, green, yellow, easy, or orange, intermediate. So let's explore. Beginner violin. When you tap on that, once you notice, you can again be looking at these different categories. You can search by just looking on this list to browse and stuff. Looking across, you can see who the artist is. That is, who wrote it? The title, what's the song actually called? Popularity, what songs get hunted for the most? If you tap on one of these buttons up here, you'll be able to organize the song, the, the song list in a new way. Like if I tapped on that one, 
that's going to go from least searched to most searched. So if you're looking for a song that's not as common, this would be a good way to look. If there's a particular song you're looking for and you know the title, I would sort the titles A to Z so that you can easily find it, or even by artist. Trad is short for traditional, and that just usually means it's a folk song or a song that a lot of people know. Okay, let's go back. I'm gonna go back to the popularity one. And if I click on this first song, this will be my example of what are the different things that you can do inside of 8knots.com. The first page that you get to will look like this. Cool, so we can see this is the song Ode to Joy from Symphony, I have coffee here, from Symphony Number no. 9, and here is my composer, Ludwig van Beethoven. Okay. A big thing to notice when you are in the free part of this website, you're going to see music that has three lines connected. The first line of each set is going to be for you to play. The second and third lines are actually what the piano would be playing underneath. Okay, it's an important thing to notice. Your eyes will be jumping from this first line to the next first line in a big group like this. Okay, easy to tell by what lines are connected. And all the way down, you can print this music off. Um, you'd tap up here on print and it sh it'll do that one page. If you do that, I would say highlight the line that you are gonna be playing, that first in each three. Okay, so here, a quick example of what this, what you can do here. If you tap play, <laughs> You can hear the piano on it. Pause that. I'm going to go on up here. I could keep on going. Um, what are these other buttons up here? Well, you can change what is the accompaniment behind or like what's playing at the same time as you. It seems like in the free version, you can't just have only the violin or viola or cello or bass playing on its own. You'll always have the extra part coming along. So here are your choices. You could have piano. You could have a whole full orchestra, a band playing behind you. You could have a slow piano accompaniment that slows it down a little bit. Metronome, this is a tool that keeps a steady beat for you while you're playing. And again, you can also change the speed by dragging this, uh, this button. A lower number means fewer beats per minute or slower. Okay. A faster number means you are going to have more beats per minute and that's faster. Okay. We've talked about the buttons that are here. If you click on this button, it'll take your music to as big as you can get on your screen, which is great. That's really helpful. Um, you can change the tempo right here. Tempo is the speed or the heartbeat of the song. So again, you can speed it up. Or slow it down. really slow. That sounds too slow. <laughs> okay. But a good example of what you can see. Take a look right here. Last thing to notice is that um, on any given day in the free version, you actually have three songs that you could play. So right here it says one free play left today because I've been looking at a few. You, If you wanted to do unlimited plays, you can subscribe to 8notes.com. It's $20 per year. It's actually like $1.66 per month. Um, just as, This is a really great tool, and so if you plan on using this a lot, this is something to ask your parents about. 
It lets you download the music and do some extra things with it too. And again, to separate out um, having just the music for your instrument. Okay, a quick note to bass players. A lot of times there is not a ton of bass music on a website like this. They only have 93 songs here. So I want you to notice that um, you can, like basses and cellos, read music in the same clef. So if you play bass and you're looking for something that doesn't show up in the bass list, you can actually check for music underneath cello and a lot of these songs will, you'll be able to play them. Okay. Cool. Yep, there's like hundreds of songs for a cello and there were less than a hundred for, for bass. So just so you know, that's um, something you can do. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a really great time exploring using this tool.